Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Baptiste, and I've got a trade idea for you today in an ETF. May, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you. What do we got going on today? We got the Yemeni S&Ps down 27 handles. They're about 15 points off of their lows. They've had a good range today of almost 60 points from top to bottom. We're down 27 and change. NASDAQ is down 29 and the Russell's down 25. They all might seem the same, like they're all down around the same amount, $25, 26, 29, 30. But look at this percentage basis. The percentage basis in the Russell, which is IWM, the Russell is down almost three times as much as the NASDAQ and twice as much as the E-mini S&P. As a matter of fact, the Russell, as you can see here from the chart, uh, has gone down significantly more than the NASDAQ, which you can see is up near the higher end of its range, and the E-mini S&Ps, uh, which are also at the higher end of their range. The Russell is down near the low. Obviously, it makes sense. You got a lot of banking stocks uh, in the Russell, and banking stocks have been in the news everywhere. As a matter of fact, if you look at some of the net changes today in some of these stocks, you will see things like WAL, which is Western Alliance Bank Corp., and many other banks, even Goldman Sachs being hit by over $8, all taking down uh, the market. But you know what? IWM, when you take a look at it, has some present presents itself with some decent numbers. What do I mean by decent numbers? Look at the IV rank of 31. IWM IV rank has gone up substantially over the last couple of days. And listen, not without warning, right? We just talked about all those bank stocks and some of those other products that are inside IWM that are significantly lower than where they've been. But on a whole, if you're going to think that IWM uh, has a market correlation that is quite high to the overall market, meaning when you compare it to SPY, IWM has a 0.89 correlation to SPY, which means just about every day that IWM goes higher, the E-mini S&Ps go higher. If the E-mini S&Ps go lower, uh, IWM goes lower. But it hasn't been as of late. Yes, they've all gone down, but on a magnitude of, of movement, IWM or the Russell has gone down a lot more. So I'm going to pick a little bit of a of a trade in IWM. Let's take a look at a little bit more at some of the components here. The IVX five-day change, which I have not been able to talk about on uh, this Option Trades Today uh, podcast. Um, I finally can today because we've got some volatility to the market. Over the last five days, this volatility in IWM has gone up by 5%. That gives you an IV rank of 31 and a decent, relatively high, almost 30% monthly implied volatility in IWM. Let's compare it just for a moment to SPY. And if you look at SPY in June, it's about 33% lower at 21, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe 25% lower uh, at 21. IWM has the highest IV rank of all of them too. Let's take a look at the Qs uh, for a moment. They have an IV rank of eight. So if I was gonna pick some place to put on a trade, whether it's Delta Neutral, whether it's uh, um, uh, long, bullish, or, or short, bearish, whatever your opinion is, IWM seems to be the place to go. I'll show you the trade that I'm going to do or have already done. And I'm going to go to June, closest to 45 days. I like the monthly uh, options here, always when we're uh, looking to do a trade. Um, I like to have a higher than 65% probability of success, especially if I'm going with a, 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 a neutral trade. But on a directional trade, I'm willing to be a little bit more directional, but I have some long delta in the overall portfolio, so I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to go right to about that 15 to 20-ish delta. I'm going to the 155 puts. I'm going to buy one of those. I'm going to do a ratio spread, which just gives me a higher probability of success. I'd like to go 4 or $5 wide. I'm going to go $4 wide right now and try to collect a little bit more credit. I got filled at $0.87, cents, right where it shows you the mid price is right now. You're using about $1,500 in buying power. It does, I will call it an omnidirectional uh, trade, but it does give you um, almost nine long deltas in IWM, which are worth about half 
the amount of deltas in SPY, SPY being an almost 200, I'm sorry, $400 stock, IWM being $170 stock, uh, the deltas representing by beta weighting them uh, is less uh, in IWM. Um, the probability of profit in this trade, almost 94%, 94% is a relatively high probability of success for me. I think it should be a high probability of success for you. Remember, our break even on this trade is where that green line is. Um, it, remember, you're going to add four or minus four to this 51 and then add the credit that you receive. So you're just above 146 in IWM. And if we're down around 146 in I, IWM in the next 45 days, there's going to be a whole lot of other opportunities in this market um, then, then this trade is gonna gonna be bothering you with. Remember, your max profit is gonna be 151. Uh, there's a 13% chance or 13 delta on the 151. Let's look at the chances of getting down to 151, which would be our max profit. You can change this here uh, to probability of a touch, and probably a touch is almost 30%. But look at this, your long strike has almost a 40% touch chance of a touch. So just because these deltas show you that there's 18 intra-month inside these 43 days, there's almost a 40% chance we get to 155, and there's almost a 30% chance that we have a max profit of $400 plus the credit received. Now, do I think that's reasonable to expect? No. What am I reasonably expecting to do? You know what? This is going to be a relatively slow-ish moving trade, unless we fall out of bed here. I'm looking to take my full 87 cent credit uh, that I that I sold this for. Pretty a simple trade, kind of watching what's happening with the overall market um, and taking advantage of some of that implied volatility that's creeped up. All right, listen, if you can help me, well, help me help you, open up an account at Tasty Trade. Why? Because it's the number one brokerage firm in the universe, and you can take advantage of a lot of the uh, pro promotional. Uh, things that we have at Tasty Trade for moving your money, transferring your account to Tasty Trade, and plus, it's how we get to keep the lights on.